Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how I paint my watercolor doodles and even turn it into those cute little stickers. I printed on both high gloss clear paper and matte finish paper. The printer I'm using right now actually not good. So this product is not for sale. But I'm still surprised to see the results on high gloss clear paper. The texture and the color value are kept pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to update my printer and really looking forward to it. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be a good one. Exciting. Who is this little guy right there? All right, let's get started, shall we? First, let's start with the pencil drawings. You can draw everything. This time, I've decided to draw one of my day. After finishing with pencil, I lined it with my ink pen. I erased the pencil markers carefully, and we are ready to paint with watercolors. I usually paint with oil paint, but when I paint with watercolors, one of the things I really like about it is it dries very fast. On one sitting, I can finish one project. If with oil paint, it may take days or even months. But each has its beauty. I love working with both. With watercolor, I usually paint two to three layers. The first layer is blocking with colors. Watercolors paint from lighter color to darker color, which is opposite with oil paint. On the first layer, it's relatively important to not paint on anywhere you think it's going to be highlights. It's not grush, so it's harder to paint white, but not impossible. In this point, I accidentally painted darker than I needed. So I used a brush to get water and painted on the surface, then used tissue paper immediately get the paint off. It wouldn't become 100% white, but it does what I need. So it's good enough. The tool I'm using in this video is quite simple. I just used one brush my watercolor paint, pencil, eraser, ink line pen, paper, of course. Yeah, that would be it. This point, I started the second layer. With this layer, I tried to get more contrast. Because of watercolor has a bit faded tone, we can add more color into it, make it pop more. Of course, if you like the faded style, you can just stop here. But for me, this layer can bring more realism to the piece and the 3D effect as well.
Tada! Here we go. After it get dried, I turned it into stickers, both printed and digital. If you like, you can use Photoshop to add more saturation and contrast. For me, I skipped this point this time. I just want to see how it looks like as is. After cut out all the stickers from Photoshop, we can move on to Procreate. I like to use iPad to design my stickers to lay out and see how it looks. It's quite easier in that way, I'm thinking. Woohoo, next step, let's cut it. I can watch this forever, seriously. Here's some digital stickers. Actually, I quite like it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my first ever studio vlog. Hopefully, it did give you some inspirations. I'm planning to update twice per week on things are related to oil paintings watercolor paintings, illustrations, and other fun stuff. If you have any art-related questions, feel free to leave it in the comment box below. Oh yeah, I'm actually recording in my closet. Ha ha ha. Alright, stay safe. See you next time. Bye.